Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anika and today's video is going to be my shampoo wash products. Now before I get started, I just wanted to let you guys know everything that I'm using is just my preference. You don't have to use this. This is just how I do it. So I know it may be overwhelming for some people, but once again, you don't have to do everything I do. Everything is just optional and whatnot. So let's get started. Now the first thing, depending on how I'm feeling that day, I would pre-poo my hair. And I personally like to pre-poo overnight. Um, Pre-pooing means you just um, set your hair up for a shampoo wash. You prep your hair. And what it does is you add moisture to your hair because shampoos tend to be stripping. So you want to add moisture to your hair before you actually shampoo wash your hair. Now it's like if you do a deep condition, but it's more of not so much a deep conditioner, but it's like setting moisture into your hair before your hair gets stripped. So depending on how I feel I still do pre-poo in case everybody's wondering but it's it's not something that I'm very consistent with but if I do decide to use it I will do it with my co-wash conditioner which is the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration so whatever conditioner you have you can definitely pre-poo with that now after I pre-poo if I do it overnight then the next day I just have to get up and jump into the shower and shampoo wash my hair if I pre-poo in the same like time that I'm about to shampoo wash my hair all I usually do is like pre poo for about 30 minutes or so and then I jump into the shower and I rinse up my hair now I will break down my shampoo washes into more than one stage so I don't confuse you guys now on a regular day that I'm shampoo washing I would just use my regular shampoo which is the olive oil mango butter moisture shampoo now I have a total of three shampoos that I use once again this is not something you have to do I like to do this I personally love this product so this is why I kept it in my hair regimen now as you guys know I've mentioned I only shampoo wash two times out of a month because like I mentioned in my co-wash video there's four, week, there's four weeks in a month and I, out of those four weeks I only do a shampoo wash two times so the product I use regularly if I want to do a regular shampoo wash is the olive oil mango butter shampoo now once I've put this in my hair I rinse it out and whatnot and then I come out and I apply my deep conditioner now the deep conditioner I use I don't have in front of me because I don't have the jar no more but I'll put the picture somewhere here is the Queen Helene now that is already mixed with my oils and whatnot and I do that for at least an hour or 30 minutes depending how I'm feeling um I like to go into the dryer for the days that I'm shampoo washing. If it's a co-wash day, I'll leave it in longer because I'll find something to do because obviously my hair is not wet as yet. But on the shampoo days, I go into the dryer and I just sit there. I either watch something on Netflix and I just have my hair decondition under the dryer. Once I'm done, I come out, go into the shower. Yes, it's a pain back and forth from out the shower, but this is just my method. Um, I go and I wash it out and I what you call it, rinse it out and whatnot. Now, then after then, I apply the Carotene 2 Minute Reconstructor from Afogee, which I don't have in front of me right now, but I do have it. And I'll put a picture somewhere here so you guys can see. And I just lather my hair up a little bit with that. And once I'm done with that, I rinse it out and then I'll apply some more conditioner. Now, for me, moisture is everything along with protein, but moisture for me is more impor important because my hair is really, really thick, so it takes, it takes a lot of moisture. So... After then I apply this. Once I'm done with that, I come out, to once I'm finished rinsing out, I come out to shower and I let my hair sit in the towel for like a little bit. Once it's in the towel and whatnot and it's like, you know, at least a good amount of the excess water is out, I'll apply my leave-in conditioner which is the Cantu Aragon Oil. So once I've done applying that, I'll spritz my hair all over or sometimes it depends I'll do this before I apply the leave-in doesn't really matter but I spritz my hair with this I love this I've been using this forever so I spritz my hair really good with that once I'm done that I use an oil or some sort to seal everything in and then I let my hair air dry now once my hair has finished air drying then I decide to style it now if I do want to um 
do some form of what you call it like a blow dry or something then I definitely would apply all of that then blow dry my hair right afterwards but usually I let my hair dry a good percentage before I put the, the dryer towards it now that's a regular shampoo wash day for me on the days that I need to do a clarifying wash which is always the end of the month I use the, the ORS creamy aloe shampoo now before I used to use the Nexus aloe red but that became a shampoo that seems to be hard to find so I just went and start using this this is easy to find and you can get this at any local beauty supply store and it's really really good it is a little bit more drying compared to this one but this is a clarifying shampoo because so it helps remove buildup restores moisture and gently clean and neutralize it so this is what I use now I use this and follow the same steps as I mentioned before um, the days that I use this particular product it's just the difference of changing the shampoo now on the times when I need to do a effigy protein two-step two treatment that's the stronger protein and I only do that every six weeks I do not do it before then or after then I try to keep it in the timeline so on around that time that I do have to do a protein treatment the shampoo product I use I switch up just because this particular one I've been using forever since I started my hair journey and I always use this with that particular product now I'll follow the same routine except I'll use this shampoo which is a shampoo for damage hair by Afogee now what I would do is after I'm finished shampoo washing my hair instead of me apply my deep conditioner right away when I come out the shower I usually use the two the two step um, treatment which I spritz all over my hair and I'll put a bottle somewhere here so you guys can see what it looks like and I spritz it all over my hair in each section from root to end make sure it I sit on the dryer till it gets completely hard once it's completely hard then I go back into the shower and I rinse it out and once I completely rinse it out then I follow the deep conditioning step so the only time I will insert the protein treatment step is when I need to do a protein treatment and that's this is the shampoo I use and I also add in my two-step protein treatment now the times that I do do that once I'm done applying my deep conditioner instead of me using the two-minute reconstructor I just go ahead and apply my co-wash conditioner because I've already added protein to my hair I don't need to use the two-minute reconstructor because I'm using the two-step so after that I follow the next procedure which is leaving I spritz my hair with the reconstructor and whatnot I hope that explains it and the products I use I hope the video was not too long and I hope I explain everything in detail um that's about it I'll try to put the list of products down below and everything that I mentioned and if you guys have any questions or comments let me know and until my next video I'll talk to you guys later bye everyone I wanna wrap you in my arms.